It's Friday, April 24th, so it must be time for another legislative update from your North Carolina Medical Society. It's been another busy week following both uh, the federal and state uh, legislation that's been moving. I want to first start out by saying thank you to each and every one of you who participated in our Medical Liability Action Alert this week. We had over 1,000 emails sent to House and Senate members uh, asking them to put in medical liability protections that we had been working so hard on. And because of that, in the House Health COVID-19 Committee, that language was included in the policy bill that was voted out and moving moved forward. So I want to thank Dr. Perrin Jones for putting that language uh, in the bill and using uh, the amendment process to get that language into the policy bill that will move forward uh, next week. Now, as a reminder, the General Assembly is coming back on April 28th uh, to have the committee process move forward, not just on health-related bills, but economic, state operations, education, and a number of other issues. So we expect the General Assembly to be very busy as they come back into session. Uh, we've been working with um, all the committees on a number of items, uh, immunizing pharmacists, um, increasing the Medicaid uh, reimbursement rates for providers, uh, this liability piece, and so many others. So if you're interested in hearing uh, the details and reading about the details of the committee process and what we've been working on, visit our legislative blog. Uh, the summaries of the legislation, of the draft bills that are moving forward is available uh, there. I also want to just ask you to be on the lookout for your emails because we will likely be sending more action alerts for you to reach out to General Assembly members as they come back into session. Since uh, we can't be there physically uh, to make requests of them, uh, we will have to use our virtual tools in order to connect with legislators about what uh, you need. So be on the lookout for your emails. Thank you so much for the participation you've had thus far. I know this is a trying time and a busy time for many of you, but we are, are so grateful for all the hard work that you're doing, and we look forward to updating you next week about what happens.